Hey guys, it's Katie Nading from Eden and Nev Calligraphy back with you tonight. And we have learned about our eight basic strokes, and then we've learned about our lowercase alphabet a little bit. Um, we did about four or five letters, and tonight we're going to be talking about the uppercase alphabet. And first I'm going to be talking about um, our uppercase letters. And then at the end of the class, um, I'm going to letter a Bible verse for y'all so y'all can, you know, practice lettering um, Bible verses after this too if you want to. So I'm going to turn to our uppercase letters um, tonight. And again, all of this comes from my book um, that I sell on my Etsy page. Um, and these are the uppercase modern calligraphy alphabet um, for Eden and Up calligraphy. And this is basically how I write the uppercase alphabet. So um, as you can see, this is from A to Z. So we're just going to go over four or five of these letters real quick. So the first one is A. So on A, all you're going to be doing, um, there's a lot of different ways to write A, but on this way, there's only two times that you're picking up your pen. So you can start on the bottom, go up, maximum pressure down, and up. And then you kind of go across, just like that. So you're just picking up your pen, do it once, and then pick up your pen. Um, of course, you can also do a, you know, any kind of way. You can do like a little oval and then a little flourish like that. Um, I do it a lot of different ways. So for B, you're picking up your pen three different times. And so you kind of add like a little thing off the end first. And then you do your downstroke, which is maximum pressure the whole way down. And then a little loop and then another loop and flourish for B and then C is the same as lowercase C you are just basically doing a C with a little flourish so to practice your A you're going to start on your baseline go to your ascender go up down maximum pressure and then relieve that pressure pick up your pen and go over for a so up no pressure maximum pressure and then no pressure and then go across no pressure maximum pressure and then go across um, there's a lot of different ways to write A. You can do an oval and then maximum pressure, relieve that pressure. Do it like that. There's tons of different ways. Sometimes I write A's like this. There's really no right or wrong. Um, so for B, you just add like a little ending right there. Pick up your pen, do your downstroke, maximum pressure, and then finish off your loop, and then your loop again. So off to the side, downstroke, loop and then loop again just like that okay so that's your B and again all you have to do is draw your four lines your ascender line your waistline your baseline and your descender line but for capital letters you're just working with your ascender your waist and your baseline you're very rarely going to go into your de descender line so for c it's just one stroke just 
just one stroke. So again, this is where you need to be doing that downstroke. It's going to be maximum pressure and it's going to create that thick line. Okay. So the next three letters, D, E, and F. So D, you are doing like a little line off to the side, downstroke, and then this is no particular stroke, but you're going up, very light pressure, down, and kind of curving towards the end. So you're moving three times. Um, for E, you're moving two times. In F, there are three different times that you're picking up your pen. So for D, going off to the side, heavy downstroke, pick up your pen, and doing your little loop. Go off to the side, downstroke, like that. Okay, so that's your D. E is just two times, and it's kind of funky because you kind of start over here on your waistline, and you go up very light, and then you kind of go back the other way. But right here is where you do your kind of down stroke, so it's kind of a thick stroke. You pick up your pen, and then you finish that loop like that. So start here, very light pressure, and then downstroke like that. Okay, so those are a few letters, and there's a lot more letters um, if you have any questions. Um, but I'm going to write out a Bible verse um, so y'all can see what actual words look like and how they're connected. So the verse that I have chosen tonight is one that um, I think anyone can identify with, with everything going on. Um, and I'm just going to write out, um, cast all your cares on him. So if I were writing out something like this for like a client or someone I have to think about my spacing and how everything is going to fit so I'm looking at all of my page and what I'm thinking is I'm thinking I'm gonna write cast all your cares and then on him Okay, so for C, I'm going to do a big C, pick up my pen, this is the start of A, then I finish my A, pick it up, and then we didn't talk about S but you're gonna connect it right here on that spot. And then the last one is T. Kind of make it like this and then you can kind of, so that's cast. And then I'm gonna do like a little space here and then I'm gonna write all. So that's A. So that's what all will look like. So cast all. And then what I usually do, since I'm not a graphic designer, is I count letters. So I think it's a lot 
of thinking in your head of how it's going to fit. So for my, I'm thinking my is going to take up that much room and then I need a space. So I need to start my over here versus right here. So I'm going to write my, so I'm going to do an M. So this is how the calligraphy M would look. And then why I kind of tend to make a little fancy, kind of like that. And then cares is C, A, R. You can kind of see when I'm picking it up. And then the last one is on him, so I'm thinking O-N for on, and then him might be over here, so I don't want to start all the way over here. So let's start a little bit right here. On, and then the H, kind of make fancy. on him. Okay, so that's basically how you would write out, um, you know, if you were writing like a Bible passage or whatever. Um, it takes a little bit longer because um, every time you're writing a, a letter or just a certain basic stroke, you have to pick up your pen and you have to think about where you're going to place it on the page. Um, so that's where we're going to stop tonight, and thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you next time.